Hey guys, Walter Sorrells back with more tips for the knife maker. Today, a tour of Jake's toolbox. So today we'll be looking inside Jake's toolbox. No how-to here, this is just a quick tour of a toolbox that I made for my son Jake for his 21st birthday. Now I'll be doing videos that show how I made all this stuff uh, elsewhere. This is just for those of you guys who've been following along with the project on my channel, so I figured I'd do a little overview of the full set and you could kind of see how it all fits together. The box contains a handful of tools that I made. It's patterned on old machinist's toolboxes constructed from box jointed oak. There's a top section that just has a hammer in it. And then all the drawers have Kaizen foam in them. If you're not familiar with Kaizen foam, it's basically layered closed cell foam. So you can just cut around the tools and then you sort of pick out the area where the tool's gonna nest. By making it in layers, you can pull out just the parts that you want to remove and it doesn't tear the whole thing to bits, which is what would happen if you use a normal piece of foam. The hammer is hand forged with a maple handle. This was a fairly challenging project for me. I had to take a couple of swats at it before I came up with a hammer that I liked. Check the link in the cards and description for a playlist I'm assembling of all the tool builds that went into Jake's toolbox. I've left some extra room so that if Jake wants to add more tools, he's got space to do it. Or I may make a couple more tools and send them to him. We'll see. In the next drawer are a couple of chisels. These are forged from 1095 steel, if I recall correctly. The handles were turned on a lathe. I've also got a set of calipers in there, which are the only tools in the box that I didn't make. In this drawer is a set of screwdrivers. A couple of them are just standard good old slotted screwdrivers. Another couple are parallel face style gunsmithing screwdrivers. And then you got a couple of Phillips heads. All the screwdrivers feature lathe turned handles and brass ferrules. Each style was made using totally different methods, so there's a separate video about each type. And here we've got a set of T-handled hex wrenches. This was kind of a cool project involving some hot bending, some heat treating, and some milling. Next to them is an X-Acto style utility knife. Without a doubt, the fanciest X-Acto knife ever made. The handle is niter blue Damascus steel and the collet nut is titanium. The box itself was pretty complicated to make, so that'll probably be a two part video. Other than the hinges and the clasp, which were store-bought, everything else was made from scratch. The brass nameplate on the top was engraved on my CNC machine, but the rest of the work was done with pretty conventional woodworking equipment. I'm really proud of my son, Jake. He's a hardworking kid getting ready to graduate from Mississippi State this year. As you can see from his irritated expression, he loves having his picture taken. He's great with his hands. He's really smart and he's really capable. He's just an all around great young man. You know, I felt like a box of tools symbolizes competence, intelligence, and self-reliance. And those are qualities that Jake's always showed and that I hope will continue to grow as he grows as a man. Congratulations, Jake, and I hope you enjoy your tools.
thanks for watching guys if you like what we're doing here please subscribe and make sure that you click on that bell so you get notified of all the latest videos want to buy a knife from me check out my modern blades at tacticsarmory.com dig in the channel you can support our video making efforts on patreon you know i've been banging away on these videos for like 10 years so i hope you'll show some love for all that hard work link in the cards and descriptions Finally, if you're interested in making Japanese swords, check out my full line of Japanese sword videos where I show how to forge Japanese swords as well as how to polish them and how to make fittings, handles, and scabbards.